Book News, and here we have the new Chromebook. So this is actually running a dual-core Celeron processor, which uh, I'm kind of interested to hear. Um, yeah, because usually you hear them in cheap laptops uh, that are usually focused on the APAC or something that's super, super, super old and really, really heavy. But you can see the new Chromebook is, is very, very thin. It has a great profile. It has kind of a... Well, an aluminum kind of style finishing on it. There's no, there's no metal. It's just a reinforced plastic. So the um, the dual core Celeron processor should be providing three times the performance. The Chromebook has a 16 gig hard drive. We have a integrated mouse pad with the buttons here on the bottom. Uh, very Apple-esque, I guess. Uh, we have a chiclet style keyboard with zero flex. I mean, it feels really great great to the touch. We have the full-size right shift key, full-size left shift key, which I always love to see. So taking a look around the system, we have the Kensington lock up here. We have a USB 2.0 full-size SD card. Nothing around here. Let's check out the front. Nothing around the bottom. Around the other side, we have a Ethernet port that looks like a PCI Express. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Let's get in a little there. It looks like a PCI Express slot, I believe. That's another USB 2.0, and that's a dual microphone headphone jack. Uh, there's a 1.3 megapixel camera at the top, and like I said, it comes with a 16 gig SSD. So there's a look at the back. <laughs> If we take a look at the back, we can see there is a fan and there is a SIM card slot there. Around the bottom, we have no panels because they really don't want you upgrading this. So this is the new Chromebook. It's got a faux kind of metal finish and it raise three pounds. So this has been a, a quick look at the new Chromebook by Prome. Uh, I'm going to be really interested to see what the battery performance on this is because the Celeron, the dual core Celeron really doesn't, from what I remember, it doesn't really have the best battery life compared to Atom. That double the performance, but we're also probably going to be seeing uh, double the, or negative the battery life. So I'll be interested to see what happens with this when we actually can get a full spec sheet. This has been Nicole Scott for Netflix News taking a look at the new Chromebook.